guys, this is Daniel from the Tutorial Brothers, and today I'm going to be showing you another tutorial with Cinema 4D, um, and I'm going to be showing you a pretty cool tutorial. Um, it's simple, but it's really great for intros and outros or anything for your movies. Um, and I know you guys have been complaining, or at least one of you, um, that I need to get back to Motion 5 tutorials, and don't worry, I haven't abandoned Motion 5. I'm just trying to even out which programs I use. Um, but don't worry, I'll be doing Motion 5 tutorials next if you want. Um, so let me just get right into this. Uh, what I'm going to be showing you is exploding text. I don't remember if I've said that or not. Um, so let's just get a new window here. Uh, normally to get text, you just go to this little squiggly line and go to text. But you've got to go for this effect, go to MoGraph, uh, Mo Text. So that's what you're going to be using today. Um, let me just get out of here real quick. Okay, so let's change the text. Alright, and I'm going to change the font real quick. Uh, just to MyDrid Pro Bold. There we go. And there we go. Uh, let's center it. Alright, so that's what we have so far. Just basic text, uh, basic 3D. Um, let me just throw on a little texture here real quick. I'm just going to do File, Shader, uh, Nuki. Uh, let me go to Diffuse and give it a little color. Uh, let's go with a little bit of blue. Uh, just so it's not too boring. And do that. And let's enter that. So we've got a uh, kind of bluish baby text. Um, so let me just add a plane really quick by clicking this square plane. Uh, just make it really big. And we're going to add a light so our text looks a bit glossy. Put it over the center. Uh, we're going to add shadow. Shadow maps soft. Let's see what that looks like. Alright, so that's pretty cool, but we are going to turn the density or the opacity of our shadows down and move the light a little bit more forward and the density of our shadows to 75. Let's see what that looks like. So that looks pretty good right there. Backlit text and a nice um, ground. Um, I'm just going to move, move the light a little bit more because I think the placement of our shadows looks a little weird. Let's just see what that looks like. Alright, so that looks alright. I'm not going to be too picky about this just because uh, the tutorial's sake, and I know you guys want to get making this on your own. So, what we're going to do first is select our Mo text. Uh, we're going to go to our bend and explosion. Now, people have... I see a lot of times on comments, people get confused and use the explosion FX. Don't use that, use the explosion. The icon is a grenade, not a stick of TNT. So select that, drag it onto our Mo text until the arrow and this little square is pointing down. And then uh, we're going to select our Mo text or our, our explosion. And you can see it did nothing. That's because our strength is at zero. If we bring that up, you can see it explodes. So we're going to go to the beginning of our playhead. Make sure we're selected on explosion. And we're going to keyframe this now. So we're going to select this middle red button and then the keyframe. And let's go to, say, 50. Bring the strength up. Uh, let's just go to 100. And select the key again. Now, as you can see, uh, let me make a preview. preview and show you what it looks like so you know you can have it exploding or I guess reverse exploding those are both great for um, intros um, let's just wait a little bit for this little quick preview to pop up um, while we're waiting thank you to everyone who entered our contest uh, we had some really great entries uh, and it's a hard choice. So let me play this. 
and there we go so you got him it that is really cool in reverse you can do it like this so let me just scrub through slowly so you guys can see better for your intros you can have it like this which is really cool and also I think this is really quite spiffy so that is it guys um and that of course is just a preview you'll have to render out a full video once you're done to your liking and that is it guys uh, I know that was a short tutorial and I'll make up for it next time um, but thank you for watching and I hope to see your guys work if you use this tutorial uh, please let us know and show us your video we love seeing your guys's work um, and good luck on your projects thank you God bless